Oh, that is cool looking. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Nate from the Kramer Life. And I want to tell you about our new e-bike that we got. Actually, it's an e-trike that we got. And we want to thank Ad Motor for sponsoring today's video. This e-bike was shipped to us in late ah. October and we did have to assemble it because it is not fully assembled when it arrives. I'm gonna cut to some footage of us assembling the bike and I'll put up some technical specs during that assembly time. And then I'm also gonna show what the first day was like on this bike, how it took us a little bit of time to get used to riding this thing because it's not like riding a bike. When you ride a tricycle, it rides differently than a bicycle does. And so it, it does take some time getting used to how this thing rides. When I show that footage, I do want to warn some of our regular viewers that there are going to be uh, scenes in there where our uh, where Floyd, who recently passed, is in those scenes, and that's because we filmed this prior to his passing. So I hope you enjoy. Once we're done uh, showing the assembly and the first day of us riding this thing, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on this. press this button, hold it for three seconds. It'll turn on the LCD. Uh, this is to engage the throttle for the motor. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you'll have the throttle here and your gears. gears. Yeah. Oh, and I see. So this turns, so this is your throttle, but yes. this has to be engaged for the throttle to work. Yes. Got it. Okay. And then you've got What's that? That's the horn. That was the horn? Uh, or yeah, and then you have turn signals. Oh, that's... So you do right, left. We need to adjust the brakes? Yes, we need to adjust the brakes. All right, so can you hold these? Adjust the brakes for you. Um, let's see here. Can tighten that up. Yeah, they were pretty, they were pretty loose. Yes, they were. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So what I do is I turn this and that pulls the cable, lengthening the cable, which then gives A tighter. There we go. See if that's better. I am horrible riding a bike. <laughs> so he's going to show me how it's done. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm going to adjust the gear so it's easier for you to pedal. Oh, that's easy to pedal. You had it on the easiest one. Yeah. I'd be terrified to go 18 miles an hour with this thing. <laughs> Okay, I was totally making 
point of view, for not knowing how to ride this thing, it's not like a bicycle. Nope. What the heck? <laughs> Riding a bicycle with training wheels. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. What the? Oh, oh. you're gonna tip. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is scary. Oh my gosh. It says not to take sharp turns like that. Well, just saying. Okay. So first of all, I apologize, honey. <laughs> it is nothing like riding a bicycle at all. Nope. It doesn't feel the same as a, as a bike. But then when you use the throttle and the front tire powers and goes forward, it does. It pulls to the right or to the left, depending on which way the wheels turn. And it's very unsettling. And it's not easy to, to pedal with this thing. No, it was easier to put your feet up on the thing on the wood and just go. Like, I found that easier. Why do, why won't it work now? Oh. oh, as soon as you put on the brake, it, it stops the, uh, the acceleration. Yep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't go straight with it! <laughs> Okay. All right. Oh boy. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so it turns out there are seven modes on this contraption. We are in eco mode. Mode number one. I am gonna go to plaid mode. It's not called plaid mode, it's called speed mode. Oh, you're just gonna skip all the way up there? We're doing it. Oh, <laughs> Hit. 12 miles an hour. That was on eco mode. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it. All right, I'm gonna try that again. I got going 13 was the high, no, 14 was the highest I hit on the flat surface up there. Mm. 9.6! All right, it's all powered down. What are your initials, initial thoughts? <sighs> I think it's gonna be fun, but it's gonna take a lot of getting used to to feel comfortable on it and to know what just is nervousness and what's actually gonna tip it. Mm -hmm. so we have extremely uneven terrain. So there's lots of tree stumps and Oops. roots and branches and things and uneven soil. So I think it'll be good. I think it's just, it's not gonna be a quick, easy, like the lawnmower was, right? Where it was like, just get on it and go. This one's gonna take some practice. A lot more user knowledge needs to happen. <laughs> okay, I'm getting used to riding this thing now, and actually it's a lot simpler than it was the first few days on it. I now use it on a daily basis, mostly during chore time, where I put stuff in the back and haul it around for feeding and watering and stuff. Now that I've gotten used to riding this thing and balancing on it and learning how to operate it, I really, really like it. It's really fun, it's really fast, it's quiet. My final thoughts on this e-bike are, it's actually designed and built very, very well. The frame is solid, 
It's comfortable to ride. It has plenty of power and a lot of runtime. It can go slow or it can go really fast. It handles well. It has really strong disc brakes and so it stops really quick. It has nice shocks in the front to make your ride comfortable. And the big fat tires actually aid in comfort as well because all of the air in that tire acts as a, as a cushion. Uh, the fat tires also allow you to run on almost any surface, whether it's pavement, dirt, grass, snow, or sand. There are a few things that I don't like about this. Number one, because it's an e-trike, it does take a bit of time to learn how to properly turn with this thing. It's not like a bicycle where you kind of lean into your turn. You actually have to lean the opposite way of your turn and you want to slow down a lot. You want to go pretty slow when you're turning otherwise it can become a tipping hazard. So you have to be really careful about that. And it does take time for you to figure out how to ride this thing safely. So be careful with it. I also do not like the fact that the arms of the pedal, I think they're too short. So it's actually really hard, at least for me, and the position that the seat is with uh, comparison to the pedals is actually really hard to pedal this bike even when you're in the uh, gear number one which is the highest gear the easiest to pedal it does have plenty of gears to cycle through for whatever speed you want to go if you're manually powering this thing with the pedals but really if you don't want to pedal at all you don't need to because the motor is plenty strong it will carry uh, a very heavy load, no problem. I love the fact that it has a basket in the front. I like the fact that it has lights in the front and the back so you can ride it during the night during the night, or just use the lights for a safety feature if you're riding in it in a busy area. Um, overall, this thing is really well designed, really well built. I really like it, but I do have concerns about some of its safety because of the tipping factor. And Ad Motor took that into consideration from the previous models and actually expanded the two back wheels out further to make it a wider footprint to reduce the tipping hazard. But it's still there, so just be careful. If you've ever thought about getting an e-bike to wander around either your property, if you have a homestead, uh, or around the city or your town, I would suggest you seriously consider the Ad Motor line of uh, electric bicycles and the 2023 M340 is a really fun and comfortable ride. Thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.